and with just one breath, dive deep beneath the waves of the Sulu Sea, down where the stretching fingers of the sun can't reach, where two feet kick, kick like fish's flippers, pushing closer to the ocean's floor, the coral reef. And with one breath, the owner of those feet is on a search for supper, Sulbin's 20 metres under, wearing nothing but goggles and tiny blue trunks. In his lungs, that breath gets condensed, you know, squashed or squeezed by the pressure of the water, which he pulls from his path like he was scooping ice cream in slow-mo. Sulbin takes giant strides so slow across the seabed, his feet pressed against rough sand and crushed crab shells. And by now, that one breath is banging on the walls of Sulbin's chest to be let out. <laughs> let me out! Six little fish nip past in quick darts, and two tiny sea spiders scurry under a rock. Now, imagine that your kitchen had the biggest fridge in, but when you open the door, all the food ran off. That's the feeling Sulbin's got. When suddenly he spots an almost plate-shaped fish, well, plate-shaped except for the fins, on its sides, black with yellow stripes, and headed for some wavy green seaweed. Go! Reaction time sharper than a shark's tooth, Sulbin's arms move, firing his harpoon straight through the middle of the fish, keeping it tight within his grip, he surges to the surface. On his return journey, blowing out a stream of bubbles from that one breath. A stream of bubbles which dance the happy dance of the nearly hung. Like, here we go! Sylbin shoots out the water, shaking the wet hair on his head from side to side. Still clutching his fish, he lifts it up towards the sky, where its wet skin sparkles in the sun, shining bright like a trophy, just one breath. If you enjoyed that video and you wanna have a go at writing something yourself, click down here. And if you wanna subscribe, the link's this side. Thanks.